Hey, man. Sorabji, right? Whoa, crazy name. Trippy, you know? The nomenclature I was bestowed with is of Persian derivation. Owing to my patrilineal lineage, traced back to the ancient Zoroastrian faith and its cultural forebears. Far out. So, like, why do you make music, dude? Isn't it all just, you know, vibrations in the air, man? While your metaphysical reduction is not entirely inaccurate, it betrays a paucity of insight into the intellectual and artistic impulses which compel one to engage in musical composition. For you see, the organization of tones and rhythms into audible structures is more than mere vibration. It is a profoundly cerebral endeavor, amalgamating mathematical precision with sublime aesthetic sensibility. Whoa, too many big words, man. Can you make it a little more, you know, easy peasy, lemon squeezy? Very well. Let me elucidate, in more quintessential terms, the compulsion to create music transcends the purely physical manifestations of sound. It is an exalted calling, an obsessive exploration of the boundless territories of the artistic mind. Creation, exploration, I dig that, man. Kind of like an astral journey to undiscovered dimensions of sonic bliss, you dig? I suppose that is one interpretation, however fanciful. Though I would counter that the axioms and formalisms of musical theory provide guided parameters for such psychoacoustical journeys, as you so infelicitously put it. Loosen up there, Sirabji. Don't get those scholarly robes in a twist. The true essence of music exists beyond rigid systems. Man, it's an unbound frequency riding the waveforms of the universal consciousness. While I cannot deny the mystical qualities intrinsic to the phenomenon of music, I must object vehemently to your cavalier dismissal of theoretical rigor. Structure and intellectualism are the lodestar by which the composer navigates the infinite oral expanses. Hey, do you ever look at your hand, really look at it? And think about how wild it is that we have these appendages controllable by the melon between our ears. Clearly, further explication would be an exercise in futility. Let us adjourn this exasperating conversation, lest I suffer an aneurysm. Good day, sir.